Hey guys, welcome to another edition of this Refined Savage training series we've been doing. Uh, today we're going to talk about weaknesses and how to improve them. Uh, whether you have weakness in the throws or in your weight training, uh, there's always things we can do to address those weaknesses and bring them up. Uh, long gone are the days where if your squat is poor or your deadlift is poor, they just tell you to squat more or deadlift more. That doesn't ever really work. Uh, if you've got a weakness that's going to cause your squat to fail, Squatting more is just going to make that weakness even more out there and, and, and harder to deal with. So you want to bring up those weaknesses, whether it's a hamstring or an upper back issue, in order to improve the lift in general. So we spend a lot of time using small exercises to bring up our larger lifts. Um, a lot of this stuff you're going to hear uh, is not anything new. So there's a lot of strength coaches out there that are doing great things. Judd Logan and Ashland, Louis Simmons, Matt Wedding, Shane Sweat, these guys are all experts in their field and I encourage you to go check out their pages and find out what they're doing with their athletes as well. Um, we're going to talk today about how to identify weaknesses. So one of the ways we identify weaknesses is we have a lifter at their heaviest weights and find out where they fail. So if a lifter is rounding at the upper back, as he comes out of the hole. We know that there's some spinal issues there as far as musculature that we need to address. So we're gonna be adding in things like upper back work, lower back work. We're hitting that reverse hyper, the 45 degree back extension. Um, anything that's gonna pull that scapula back and make that spine as, as rigid as possible and as strong as possible. Um, another thing is they may be bending over in the squat. Uh, you might have uh, a weak lower back or weak abdominals. So We'll spend a lot of time working those abdominals. And when you're working abdominals uh, for lifting, it's different than what you'll see online. You know, planks are great, uh, crunches are great. All those things, you know, are, 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 you'll see a lot of them as part of a fitness program. But when we talk about core training, we're talking about loading the system just like we would when we are squatting or deadlifting. So we're doing standing abdominal crunches, either on a pulley machine or with bands. We're doing a lot of ab wheel rollouts. Um, people hate ab wheel rollouts, but for my money, they're one of the best things you could be doing for your core. Um, we're going to be doing a lot of twisting, a lot of side bends, suitcase deadlifts, all those things um, that are going to make the core stronger because if we're going to break, we're going to break in that area. Your abs need to be as strong as your lower back. Um, and then we are going to spend a lot of time working on the lower back as well. We do reverse hypers sometimes two and three times a day. Um, you can do weighted... Uh, uh, 45 degree back extensions and when you do that make sure you weight it up don't just hold a 10 pound med ball if you can handle a heavy weight use a heavy weight work up to it obviously but load those just like you would anything else so what areas are actually needed so when we look at picking auxiliary exercises you want to identify your weaknesses first if you're having a hard time doing that there's some basic guidelines that you can use that are going to hit all the weaknesses that 99 percent of us as athletes have so the back of the body is where a lot of us have problems. So upper back, lower back, hamstrings and triceps are all key for us. Um, again, abdominals as well in the front, but if you really think about where an athlete misses, most of his problems are gonna come from the back. We're not so worried about quad development. Quads are gonna come from box squats just like they would from regular squats. Don't let anyone ever tell you different. Um, squatting wide you're still going to develop your quads and most of us are not missing due to strong or uh, due to weak quadricep muscles we're missing because the back of our body is not as strong as it needs to be so train the back train the hamstrings train the triceps and train the core every day okay so how do we get this extra auxiliary work in um, whether you are doing a traditional f functional fitness type crossfit program or if you're doing a regular standard uh, weightlifting program we're gonna mix that in at the end of the workout and sometimes at the beginning. So if you come into the gym here, you're going to see a lot of volume at the very beginning of the workout to warm you up. So I got this tip from Matt Wedding. So we spend a lot of time uh, working triceps for the upper body. You're gonna work your triceps in your upper back as part of your warm up. Uh, we're also gonna do some high rep dumbbell benching as part of the workout. Uh, so that warm-up, we're getting all those muscles ready to go. On our lower body days, we're always hitting the reverse hyper. Uh, we're always hitting some standing abs or some ab wheels, and we're also hitting some high rep leg curls, sometimes 100 to 150 leg curls as part of the warm-up. Um, 
that gives us a, a nice warm up to start, but it also has a huge effect on the amount of volume we're doing and it gives you a lot of bodybuilding and tendon and ligament strength work. We're going to go through our workout. At the end of the workout, we're going to throw in some more auxiliaries for whatever is our weakness. So if it's a posterior chain weakness, we're going to throw more reverse hypers at you or maybe some good mornings. Uh, hamstrings, again, we're going to hit a lot more leg curls. And if it's for upper body, we're looking at triceps and upper back. No matter what you do, you're always looking at that back of the body and your abs as your weaknesses. When you're looking at weaknesses, you can also take this and add it to your throws training in your throws workout. So if you are, for example, uh, throwing the weight for height and you're not quite getting your hips through at the end, that's probably something with your glutes, okay? So we're looking at ways of building those glutes to get those hips through. So you can do kettle, heavy kettlebell swings, you can do Ukrainian deadlifts, you can do pull throughs, anything that's gonna get that full hip extension at the end. Work the flexibility too to make sure you're getting through. If you have something like uh, you're not finishing your, your throw at the end of the way throw, um, you can do some stuff to work with the pecs and the upper back to finish that throw. Um, normally, your problem with the throwing events is not your upper body. It's something in your lower body not functioning correctly. You're not getting your hips through. You're not turning your feet. Um, you have weaknesses down there somewhere. Very rarely is an upper body problem. Most of us hit with the upper body too soon. Um, so really look at what you're doing and what the problem is and where you're not finishing the throw and then address the weakness depending on that. Last but not least today, we're gonna to talk a little bit about what's going on with Refined Savage. We just added a new event. We're gonna be at the USPA Border War, Indiana, Ohio in Dayton. That's gonna be on May 12th. We're gonna have a booth set up for that. So come on out. We are gonna have special t-shirt designs available and we're gonna have stuff on discount. So come up and say hi. Uh, even if you don't buy something, come up and say hi. Uh, we'd love to meet everybody out there and uh, hopefully we'll get to see some great powerlifting that day, which I'm uh, pretty sure we will. Uh, this week we have the new lids out. So these are snapbacks, camo snapbacks. They are on the website, new prices on the website as well. So check those out. Uh, and then we are gonna have a tank top drop. That's probably gonna be Friday, maybe Saturday, but this weekend definitely we will have a brand new women's only tank top. So I don't wanna see you guys wearing these. These are only for the girls. Um, some pretty cool colors. I think you'll dig them. Uh, look for those. And of course, I'll be all over social media letting you know when those come out. Thank you so much for supporting the, the podcast for the YouTube channel and for the Instagram. Please like us on Instagram, Refined Savage Brand. Check that out. Um, we love seeing people liked on there and we um, will respond to your messages and your comments and we are really having a good time with that. Uh, subscribe, like, and share this episode for people. We'd love for more people to be looking at the YouTube channel and check out the RefineSavage.com for all the best Refined Savage gear. Thanks a lot, guys. We'll see you next week.